This is Radio Salt Lake City, Utah, USA. The next song is for the speed freaks out at the Bonneville Salt Flats. This week, a world's fastest machinery gets it together on the salt to attempt to bet at a land speed record. The oldest competitor is 73-year-old Bert Munro, and he's come on 8,000 miles from New Zealand to run his 1920 Indian motorcycle, and Bert has owned the bike since it was new. Bert, we hope you join the 200-mile-an-hour club this year and better your existing world record. And if you're on the road heading for Bonnie, this next song's for you. Bert Monroe is a legend in Indian motorcycle history. A lot of people wouldn't even know about Indian motorcycle if it wasn't for the 47 years of effort that Bert Monroe put in to set the records that he set at Bonneville. Every footstep he takes is on hallowed ground as far as I'm concerned. He did an amazing thing for the people of New Zealand. He did an amazing thing for Indian motorcycle. He took a bike from 1920 and worked on it and worked on it and refined it and crafted it and forged new parts and every aspect of it from aerodynamics to engine performance to a transmission that would hold up to you know just riding position and things like that working through years and years of trial and error it's something that would humble even the best of engineers to just to think about what he was able to achieve with a bike that it was an antique, you know, most people would have thrown it away and started with something new, but not Bert. He, he wanted that scout to go faster and faster and he achieved something that most people will never achieve. I've always been happy working on my bike, even though it blows into hundreds of pieces. I just wade in again and start all over again and uh, I'm happy doing that. If you don't put in an effort at anything, well, you're, you might as well be a vegetable, mightn't you? Uh, it's effort and concentration that makes life worthwhile. And there's nice ladies around, it's a big help. <laughs> We've got a tremendous amount of talented engineers and people that are passionate about motorcycles. So this year marks the 50th anniversary of Burt Monroe's record in Bonneville, and we felt what better way to honor what Bert did than to recreate his effort. So we're starting with a 2017 Indian Scout and a stock frame, stock bottom end to the motor and building it up from there. So we have a whole new top end, uh, we've narrowed the handlebars, we've taken out the rear suspension, we're streamlining it. And all this effort is to live up to what Bert did 50 years ago. What drives us to do this crazy stuff? And, you know, is it just a sickness or what? Obviously, Burt Monroe had that same type of passion. I mean, to, to have the goal to get to Bonneville to actually set a record and to do that over 40 years. Or you know, being a project like this, we don't get paid for this, and it's purely out of passion. In the history of Indian Motorcycle, there were a lot of people who did legendary things. And now we're going to honor Burt Monroe by going back to Bonneville 50 years after his record and doing something legendary with our brand, and with his, with his great-grandnephew Lee Monroe as pilot, and with the great motorcycle you see behind me that started out as an Indian scout and is now going to go hit the salt and, and approach 200 miles an hour.